Good Notes is undoubtedly one of the best handwriting note taking application available for iPad. Knowing for its intuitive interface and robust feature, it has been a favorite for students, professional and creative alike. But what if I told you it just got even better with introduction of generative AI capabilities? Good Note has transformed himself from a reliable digital note taking application into a smart assistant that can boost your productivity, creativity and learning in a way you have never imagined. Hey there everyone, welcome to iPad Essential. If you are as excited as I am about making most out of your iPad, today's video is going to blow your mind as we will explore the groundbreaking AI features in Good Notes. So without further ado, let me jump into my iPad screen. And there we go. Now we are in our iPad screen. Now let me quickly run Good Note here. And there we go. So here we can see the new Good Note 6 interface, which looks more cleaner than before. And the thing that I didn't like about this particular version is now you may not able to own it. You need to pay the amount every year or you know whatever the plan they came up with. Um, I believe they have a plan of paying it per year. Okay, so these are some of my notes that I have created. So I'm going to go back to one of my existing note to show you, um, you know, the generative capability because generative capability also need context. Okay, so here you can see I have created certain notes about a certain topic, which is project management. And, um, and here, if I see on the top left side, uh, this icon which is nothing but generative AI okay so what here we need to do is we just need to click on it then it will go through our entire document and then you know it will create all relevant question related to my notes so here if I close it and I'm gonna quickly have a look on it so here I am talking about agile project management and the way it works and then some, I don't know why I have added these sine theta here. Then um, probably I'm talking about something different here, which is not related to project management. So uh, let's again go back here. And the same thing here, we are seeing um, different, different things. Since we spoke about project management lifecycle, I can see it. I can also see about agile development. So first of all, I'm going to say create outline of notes okay and then let's hit enter here and now let's have a look what kind of uh, you know understanding it come up with and there we go so here seems like uh, it was able to understand my notes quite effectively here i only spoke about agile project management not the waterfall one and i can see that and then um here yeah, all the things it have identified or recognized in a correct way okay and apart from this agile project management i also uh, discussed about this quick win paradox which i do not see uh, being summarized or not being added so i'm gonna ask him uh, what is quick win paradox so again you know this is something uh, which we have uh, mentioned here in this uh, notes let me ask this and then uh, let's see if it also fetch data from internet now let's click on ok now let's have a look here hmm so seems like okay so this concept uh, quick win paradox uh, i would say this was not of uh, project management but the good thing here is the ai understood that i have created different notes in same um, note file but AI is smart enough, but in a way not so smart enough. It was not able to recognize, oh, this is the different topic, but 
again it presented me the quick win paradox in context of project management which is really awesome because this also gave me idea what ai really can do and that's how it have presented me another way to think about a quick win paradox because i was not thinking about this particular topic in context of a project management which is really nice then um, let me also ask more question although you can see here uh, we can see there are different different questions ai itself uh, have generated in the form of suggested question few days ago we also have created a video about uh, generative ai capability in notability which is again one of the most popular and powerful note taking application but when we talk about good note good note was always ahead of notability in terms of features and so we can also see here in case of generative ai um in case of notability we were only able to create quiz but here seems like here we can ask all different kind of questions inside good note which is really awesome as let's say you have taken notes or you know class notes or meeting notes and then you would like to summarize or would like to conclude or you know you can do so many different thing even we can create quiz so i'm going to say create quiz and let's see if it can uh, come up with quiz let's see okay let's create uh we can see the quiz is also being created and uh let me actually copy this okay i have copied this quiz and now i can paste it here okay so that's so great so in this way guys uh, we can paste it and seems like we also have correct answer but it is not as interactive or intuitive as notability so if you also would like to check the ai capability in notability then do check out the video that i have added in the description of this one that will show you the capability of notability and what i have seen so far between these two one of the best note taking application which is notability and good note and this is my observation uh, which is like you know from a decade like i am seeing these both software uh you know getting matured more and more feature being added since about 2014 which is as i said about a decade in case of notability they always go for perfection however good note always go for more and more features and in a way both are doing great i would say that is why they are still one of the most popular uh, handwritten note taking application while you know who want more features and that can also be seen uh, here because good note can do much more than having a quiz but notability can only produce a quiz and that quiz is interactive and i would say better in terms of whole look and feel and apart from that i would like to show you one more thing here um let's say i would like to select all and then now i can also click on ask good note which again going to bring us good note ai so if in case you also have the type notes you can also do all these kind of queries using that okay now apart from this this good note 6 come up with so many different feature and one such feature which i believe is kind of you know ai powered i would like to show you which is let's say if i have made a selection here and now if i use this particular tool what this tool will do it can actually create word wrap of even handwritten note taking app which i found is really awesome now let's talk about some of real world application in case of different different scenario for example you are a student then you can take your lecture note to next level by letting good note summarize key point or even suggest potential exam question in case of professionals during meeting they may jot down the key ideas and let good note organize them into actionable insight or draft a policy report in case of creatives they can use the app to storyboard for your next project 
refine your narrative or experiment with a visual layout for ideas. So in the end, I would say good note integration of generative AI is not just a gimmick, it represents a fundamental shift how we interact with these apps and with our iPad. It combines the tactile joy of handwriting with the computational power of generative AI making the iPad even more indispensable tool for productivity and innovation. And if you are as thrilled about these generative AI features as I am, then make sure to subscribe to iPad Essential as we keep on bringing productivity videos and tutorial related to iPad. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.